Hey everyone, it's JC from PT Exam Survivor and in this video we're going to go over the phases of normal wound healing. So here you can see that we have four, four phases, although in some texts and resources they don't include this hemostasis phase here. However, in school I was taught that this phase here is one of the phases that go actually in hand with the infl inflammatory phase, but the three essential phases that are accepted are the inflammatory phase, the proliferative phase, and the maturation or remodeling phase. In this video, like I've said before, I will be adding this phase here, which is the hemostasis phase, since that's what I was taught in school. It's important to keep in mind that Phases of normal wound healing can and do overlap sometimes. As you can see, for example, these two phases here overlap, the infl inflammation and proliferative phase overlap, and the proliferative phase and the maturation phase certainly also do overlap. In addition, these time frames are not definite because normal wound healing is very, very tissue dependent. So the first phase to normal wound healing includes the hemostasis phase and essentially it lasts from day one to day three and the goals for that phase are to stop bleeding and to form a clot. The next phase is the inflammatory phase which is the body's initial response to a wound. Platelet activation and clotting cascades start to occur, debris and necrotic tissue are removed and bacteria are killed by cells such as neutrophils and leukocytes and mast cells. These processes that occur during the infl inflammatory phase pave the way for tissue restoration and repair to begin. Typically, reepithelialization begins within 24 hours, but visible signs of actual tissue proliferation don't occur until about three days after the injury. The third phase of normal wound healing is the proliferative phase which lasts roughly from day 3 to day 21. The proliferative phase is signaled when the formation of new tissue is noticed. In this phase, capillary buds and granulation tissue start to fill in the wound, allowing epithelial cells to start migrating over. Skin integrity is restored towards the ending half of the proliferative phase, with wound closure being the ultimate goal. The final phase of wound healing is the maturation or remodeling phase which lasts anywhere from 7 days after the injury and can last up to 2 years or more. This phase is signaled when granulation tissue and epithelial differentiation begins to occur in the wound bed, scar tissue begins to form and is remodeled and strengthened through collagen lysis and synthesis. Newly placed down scar tissue should be carefully protected to prevent re-injury and over time, scar tissue integrity may increase and strengthen to as much as 80% of pre-injury strength. So there you have it guys, just a basic sum down of the four phases of wound healing. If you enjoyed this video, this video will be part of a series of integumentary teaching. So do subscribe and hit that like button. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.